Hello there, welcome to Dave Take 2 channel and in this video, I want to show you how to download and install the SmartTube application to your Fire Stick device. This is a full guide video, that means I will be showing you every single step that you need to do to install this application to your Fire Stick device. In that case, you need to watch the video right up to the end without skipping any part for a full understanding of the video. So if you have a, a, a Fire Stick device and you are looking to install SmartTube, this is the best video you are going to see because I will show you everything. And please, if you find this video helpful, please make sure you like, subscribe and share for more important videos like this. And if you can, you can always send me a gift if you find my videos helpful. So that's it, let's get into it. So this is my Fire Stick device. And I'm going to be installing the smart tube application on it and I'm going to make sure to show everything step by step so please follow attentively with me and if there's any question please let me know in the comment section now installing smart tube to our fire stick device the very first thing we need to do on our fire stick is to install the downloader application to our fire stick now it is very easy to install downloader to your fire stick device what you have to do you just go over to the find option over here and search for the application so what you do come over here and in the search box you can search and install the downloader application now just type in t over here and you're going to get a suggestion for the application and here's it over here now as you click on it you're going to get a download application now if you are wondering why do we need a download application that's because on our fire stick device this is the application that we need to use to install the smart tube application we need to type in a code we need to type in a code that is going to work on downloader to install the smart tube application and that is why we need smart tube or we need downloader to our fire stick device so we start by downloading it it is very simple just go over here and click on it and then you can click download over here and just wait for the application to completely download to our fire stick device so here's the application is going to download straight away now, once the application is downloaded, it's going to install to our Fire Stick device and then we can go ahead and use it. So now the application has been installed. Now, why, do, why the application has been installed? The next thing we need to do on our Fire Stick device is to make sure that our Fire Stick is able to install applications from unknown sources because we are not installing this application from the official App Store on your Fire Stick device. We are installing it from the download application. So we need to make sure our Fire Stick device allows that. So to do that, you have to go over to your settings on your Fire Stick device and go over to the option that says My Fire TV. So to go over here, come to the option that says About. Now, if you see this option, Developer Options, then I'm sure your Fire Stick device already allows installation from unknown sources. But if you don't have this option, we need to turn the option on. To turn it on, it is very easy. Come back to the option that says about, click on it, and it's going to bring you to this setting over here. Now, on the name of your Fire Stick here, yours could be Fire TV or mine is Fire TV Stick 4K. This is the name of your Fire Stick device. Now, once you're here, please click on it like three times or five times until you receive a pop up below that says, No need, you are already a developer. Once you receive that pop up, then the developer option has been turned on and what you have to do now is to turn over here and go over to the developer options now i for this to work on your fire stick device you need to have a fire stick that allows you to or uh, to install applications for unknown sources or to silo applications if you have the fire stick select this is not going to work for you now once you're here go over to the developer options and come over to the option that says app from unknown sources this is what we need to turn on so make sure that this option over here is turned on and once it's turned on the fire stick device can then install applications or silent applications from unknown sources and this is what we need to do so once this is turned on all you have to do now is to return home to your fire stick device now we've done two steps already we've installed a download application we've changed the settings of our fire stick device to, to allow installation of from unknown sources so the next thing we need to do is to type in the code to install the smart tube application so what do we do we move on to the download application and here is it over here now if you've not used downloader before it is very easy to use what you have to do just to type in a code 
in the box over here and launch and that code is going to install an application or it might open a url so the code to install the smart tube device is a simple code just go over here and type in this code two four seven one six five So please, this is the code 247165. Make sure you are seeing the code. You can write it down on a piece of paper so you don't forget. Or you can just screenshot this so you don't forget. If you make a mistake with the code, it is not going to work. So go ahead and launch the code. This is it. Once you launch the code, this is how it's going to look like. It is going to bring you to a page like this. And it's going to go straight away to installing the application in this case, which is the smart tube application. So just give it a second. And here's the application. It is going to start downloading and installing on our Fire TV or Fire Stick device. So now, here's how the application installs. Now, when the application is done downloading over here, we can go ahead and install it to our Fire Stick device. So here's the application. It is downloaded. What you have to do is to click install. Now, before you click install on this application, I want to recommend something very important. Using or browsing on the internet on your Fire Stick device can be insecure, and that's why. You need to protect your device by using a VPN. A VPN allows you to browse on the internet with ease and security, and also it helps you to unlock certain limitations you might come across on the internet. In the description of this video, I have added a recommendation of the best VPNs they can use. It's called NordVPN. You can check it out. Look at the subscription that I recommend there and get a subscription. It is the best, and if you click the link right now, are going to get a discount so please make sure you're using a vpn while browsing on your fire tv device so now once the application has downloaded all you have to do is just click install over here and the application is going to install to your fire stick device so this is how to download and install the application to our fire stick device now once it's downloaded and installed here we just have to give it a moment let the application install now click done delete the r5 from your fire stick device and then you can return home for the application has been installed already so let's return home so you come over here return and then you can just close the download application and then return home now once you go over here you can realize the application has been downloaded and here is it over here so you can click on the application here and this is how it should look like once you go over here now i'm going to be blurring some of the stuff here because they might be considered not uh, suitable to show my youtube video so if you go over here, you can go over to training. I can see the videos that are here and they are lost. This is the this is the menu of the application. I can take out your time and browse through and start watching content on the application the way you want. So this is a smart tube application and I've installed it, I've downloaded it, I've showed you all the steps you need to follow on your first thing to buy to install the application. So I go over here now, I can start using the application on your first thing to buy after installing following the instructions that I've showed you. So that's it about this video. If you found it helpful, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share for more important videos like this.